Hey folks, Trenison here, and we're with Mary Smith, and she's gonna tell you a little story about her first obstacle race and kind of how she trained it. Um, things that doing things that people might not think would be the typical way to train for the obstacle race. So thanks for stopping in and sharing with us. We're out on a beautiful day, a uh, good Friday here in Gilbert, Arizona at a park. Um, and the park is relevant to Mary's training story, which we'll get to in a little bit. But Mary, you just finished your first uh, obstacle race mud run um, a few weeks back. Um, how'd you feel about that? Um, I was a little apprehensive at first, but um, found that it wasn't it wasn't that hard to do, and there, it was not a competition, the mud run, so it made me a little bit calmer, and I, I, I was excited that I made it through. Yeah. Did you have a little nerves beforehand? Um, yeah, because yeah. I felt like I was too old and <laughs> okay. never tried that sort of thing. But not so much that way now. No, no. It was, uh, it was very doable. What was the easiest part about the race, or the most surprisingly possibly easiest part about the race um, to you? Probably the easiest part were the obstacles. Okay. And um, and it proved well. The running was not so bad either because you you at each obstacle you got to take kind of a break. Was there maybe a little initial apprehension about the obstacles maybe being too challenging? Um. Yeah. The high ones. Yes. Yeah. Because I have trouble with heights. Okay. <laughs> and what was the most difficult part for you? Do you think? Um. having to get your feet all wet and muddy and okay. still run that way. So just the fact of being in a watery mud kind of environment in a couple instances there. Yeah. Let's kind of fill folks in on your backstory and then we're going to talk about the training because that's very relevant to the backstory. So your backstory, did you ever, ever when you first started training think that you'd ever do a race like that? Never. 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 What, what what kind of what were the the thoughts and why do you think that why did you initially think that was not probably something that was going to be in your future? Uh, I just never never thought I was capable. Yeah, and you had physical limitations at at, at some point that orthopedically that would have held you back from that, correct? Yeah, I blew a knee out. Yeah, and did that kind of creep into your head before the race a little bit ever? Yes, because I thought, oh, I could just see myself messing my knee up again in the race. But. Uh -huh. So that was probably a pretty big boost to confidence after the fact anyway, that you'd kind of gone through that and, um, and nothing bad had happened, so to speak, right? Definitely. Now let's talk the training, because most people when they get ready, because most of the obstacle race mud runs are 5Ks typically, there's some longer ones, but most people are just going to go out and run and they might do some burpees or push-ups or whatnot, um, but your training probably is a little bit different than most people, especially most people starting off, because a lot of folks, they think they need to run because they haven't run races like this before or something like that, so what was your run side of training? I think this is going to be pretty shocking for folks. Well, I was never a runner, um, I would just come here to the park. Um, probably in the last year, but not consistently, yeah. run up and down the hills and do push-ups yeah. at the top and the bottom, and that's pretty much it. And the hills here, if you can take a look, yeah, it's about, it's a pretty good incline, but maybe 30 to maybe 50 yards top up and down. How many reps were you doing? Because you're not, you're not spinning hours out here running hills. No, 10 reps usually. 10 reps usually. And then you did some good cross training workouts in conjunction with that to kind of balance out your strength and, and your conditioning levels, correct? Right. So for all those out there that um, may be considering, and there's lots of different types of the obstacle races, um, doing races, what, what's your kind of final thought for them? Give it a try. I mean, all you can do is try and, and get better if you keep going at it. Very cool. And is there any more obstacle races in your future? You know, I've been thinking seriously about that. I, I think definitely next year I'll do the Lazulu Mud Run again. Awesome. So we'll talk to you soon. Thanks for sharing your story.